Today's video is brought to you by storyboardthat.com. Please visit teachercast.net slash storyboardthat for a limited time offer. Hello, and thank you for watching today's screencast from TeacherCast University. This is the third video in our online series called Kid Blog, an introduction to blogging with your students. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and I am the host of the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. In today's video, we look at kidblog.org, and we will examine the dashboard area and show you how to set up your class blog. We will discuss some great new features in Kidblog and show you how to customize your Kidblog account to fit your individual class needs. Here, I have my class blog. You can see that Kidblog features a very simple and easy navigational structure. On the top, we have our header featuring our class name and class avatar. You can view your class posts and comments by clicking on these two tabs. To the right are three buttons where you can choose how to view your student blogs. And to the right of that is a button where you can turn on or off your class sidebar widgets. Once you've logged into your kid blog account, access the dashboard by clicking on either the big K on the top left or clicking on the word settings in your blog header. In the dashboard area, you will see your class information. This information shows your class avatar, your blog title and tagline, and the number of posts and comments and links to access your settings, privacy controls, and the ability to add or modify users. In the settings panel, KidBlog provides access to the inner workings of your blog. You can customize these features however is best for your class. Here, we will discuss the features that will allow you to create a visually dynamic learning experience for your students. The left of the screen presents you with the ability to change your class avatar. To do so, click on the Choose Avatar button. This will bring up your media library. You may choose a new avatar from a variety of methods. You may select an avatar from images you have already placed on your kid blog media library or choose from a selection of pre-set icons provided by KidBlog. If you have an image you would like to add from your hard drive, you can select the My Computer icon and either drag the image files onto the screen or click Choose File to select an appropriate image. If you are interested in using an image already on the web, you can find that image, copy the URL, and paste it in the link URL section. A popular feature for helping students choose photos is by using the camera built right into their computers. This is probably the most enjoyable method for your students because they can be as creative as can be. Lastly, KidBlog provides the opportunity to connect your account to your Google Drive. This feature is one of the many options if you choose to upgrade your account. The box next to your class avatar is your user accounts. When you sign up for KidBlog, you are given a class size of 40 students. If you wish to sign up for the amazing Teacher Premium account, you can unlock these great unlimited students features for a larger class size. On the right are your class settings. Here you can modify your class name, class description, and add a location for your blog. After modifying the features in your General Settings tab, click on the Theme Sidebar button to choose a visual cover for your blog. KidBlog provides students more than 20 visually pleasing themes. Students can have fun changing these themes at any time without affecting their content. You can see here that the retro theme is activated. To change themes, simply click on another theme and hit the Activate button. To see your corrections, simply refresh your blog in a second tab. To the right of the themes are the controls for your blog sidebar widgets. There are several great features to the new kid blog sidebar area. Because this feature is so dynamic and robust, we will be discussing these options in a separate video in this course. Next to the theme and sidebar button on the top is your users menu. The Users menu allows you to create, edit, and remove students in your class. This menu is the heart of the KidBlog dashboard because it is the one menu you will be coming back to when your students need to have their passwords reset or if you need to add or delete students quickly throughout the year. The User menu will be discussed also in a great detail in a future video in this online course. Next to the Users tab is the Privacy menu. In this section, you will have the ability to customize your KidBlog accounts for your students. 
One of the new features in KidBlog is the ability for your students to choose their audience. Students can now select who gets to see their posts and comments. Once you have your privacy settings selected, scroll to the bottom and click on the Save button. To the right of the Privacy menu is the Categories tab. In the Manage Categories section, you will have the ability to set up the various categories which your students will be blogging from. These categories can be, for example, homework, classwork, tests, or perhaps chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. To create a new category, simply select the new category button and type in the name of a new category and hit the create category button. To the right of the categories tab is the new connections tab. Perhaps you and another classroom are both using KidBlog and you wish to share posts and other content. While logged into your KidBlog account, you can visit another user's blog and click on the follow button. While logged into your KidBlog account, you can visit another user's blog and click on the follow button. This is a great new feature that will help you teach your students about digital citizenship and digital content sharing. After hitting the follow button, you'll be given a dialog box in which you can choose which of your classes you wish to connect with. You can also leave an optional message and then hit the follow button. The Class Connections tab works very similar to Facebook and Twitter in the respect that you can have the option to follow another blog, but that blog's class does not necessarily have to follow your own class information. There are many new options available in the Dashboard section of KidBlog. These options can be edited and modified at any point throughout the year. The complete video series to this online course can be found on our website, teachercast.net slash learnkidblog. I hope you take a moment to browse this and all of our other online tutorials over at teachercastuniversity.com and teachercast.net. We want to take a moment here and say thank you to everybody out there who's watching or listening to the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. There's, of course, several great ways that you can participate in TeacherCast each and every week. We love it when you find us on Twitter, at TeacherCast. Like us on Facebook over at TeacherCast.net slash Facebook. Subscribe to our many audio channels and video channels over on iTunes. Email us at feedback at TeacherCast.net. Find us on Pinterest. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel at TeacherCast.net slash YouTube. The TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. What do you want to learn today?